Well, for me, this uh, each show is sort of a challenge. I get a map of the, the space, and I see the walls and the, the sides, and I start thinking about what what things to do. And so, uh, yeah, I just like look at. Well, one, I'm painting all the time, so I just like to make. So there's like not necessarily a huge uh, one single thing to say about the, sh the show. It's more about each piece has its own kind of identity. Like this piece here, of course, is it's a photo piece I made in uh, 2008, I think. Yeah, and it's just photographs um, from my life. And so this piece, particularly, I hope people can come in and sort of like be overwhelmed by the images all right. see all the images and each image plays off each other and your eye skips from image to image and you see uh, you know all the different things yeah I, mean, I have inspiration all the time from especially the people that uh, are surrounding me me in a, in artwork like the, you know I was in the show the beautiful losers yeah and I'm a huge fan of Barry McGee and Christopher Hansen and um, Margaret Kilgallen, like all those people in the film are people that I kind of grew up with. As much as I grew up with them, I was also like a huge fan of their work, so it was like a pleasure to like, know them and be showing with them, but also to like, I'm watching them and looking at them. So I, I get really influenced by those guys. All right. I think I was always drawing uh, I always think about this when you know when you're a child you're always drawing yeah. and some at some point you just forget because people stop drawing, I don't know why. <laughs> it's like such a childish thing to be drawing pictures and things. So uh, I just never stopped. And then I found skateboarding and then uh, started a skateboard company and I wanted to do skateboard graphics, so I was doing skateboard graphics and t shirt graphics and always drawing. I kept, actually, the same time, I, the same year I turned pro in 1990 yeah. for skateboarding, I also started painting. I came to Europe and did some contests yes. and uh, got super inspired by all the art in Europe. It was so different from where I lived. I grew up in you know, Orange County, California. It's yeah. a suburban, there's not art, there's no <laughs> public art. It's just like very uh, uh, suburban and <laughs> yeah. strange, you know? And so I think coming here was like a big inspiration for my 18 year old self. I was like so excited, like wow, look in Europe, it's old and there's like history and art and sculpture in the streets. And it's just like, to me, it was like really romantic. And, yeah. and kind of, I, I was naive, so I just like came home and decided I'm going to be a painter. And started, <laughs> started painting and trying it. And I was, you know, I think I was terrible at the beginning as well, but I mean, I mean, I'm still like terrible now in some ways. I just like, but, but uh, I like doing it. So. Thank you for you sharing. <laughs> so. It's. I think people sometimes mistake it for being. A, I don't know, like. I don't explain it, like bragging about my like, sex life or something. Mm -hmm. But in fact, it's like always. Every any like sex stuff is usually with my wife, and it's, yes. and it's not about like it's about sharing a, a relationship. All right. And people, I think anybody who sees these photos, the certain ones I choose, I hope convey that uh, that sort of uh, shared experience. Any anybody who has a girlfriend or a mm. wife can see that photo and understand like, oh, I, I've been in that situation. I understand. Right. I understand that feeling, that mood. Hopefully, they capture a mood because I don't want it to just be. It was uh, an interest, but it was, uh, it's kind of, it came through skateboarding. All right. Because I was a professional skateboarder, so I was around photographers all the time, shooting photos of me skateboarding. And, you know, so we'd be driving to a skate spot, and, you know, their life is about the camera, trying to like, yeah. figure, so I'd always be watching them, like, oh, they were putting their camera together. And I would just ask them, like, oh, what lens are you going to use? What film? Why? And started getting interested in it. And, all right. But then at the same time, that's one side, and then the other side was uh, especially this photographer in San Francisco, Tobin Yellen. Mm -hmm. He's a skate photographer for yeah. a long time. He had been recently influenced by Larry Clark, 
uh, his photographs, and so he was shooting not only skateboarding, but his lifestyle and the scene and a, and a group of people that he was surrounded by up in San Francisco. And these are like pro skateboarders, Andy Roy and John Cardio and things like that. But uh, his his like approach really inspired me. I was like, wow, he's like just he's not just shooting skateboard tricks; he's shooting the lifestyle of skateboarding, yeah. which is kind of cool. And you know, a few years a few years later, I realized like I'm living this life too. I'm like a pro skateboarder, and I get to travel and drive across the country with all these other kids who are like living this life, like drugs, girls, all this stuff. Stuff that I never really did, but I was in that scene. So I decided to like become the documentarian of it and oh, try to shoot photos of that, that's, that's that pretty, story. You know, yeah. it's pretty interesting. I think it comes natural for a skateboarder. Do you think? Yeah, yeah, it's true. I think it does. Yeah.